Hi, I'm Tim Strange, Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. This course is SOLIDWORKS Advanced Mates. Our first module is going to be what and where are the advanced mates and the mechanical mates. So in this we're going to take a look at the advanced mates and those include profile center, symmetric, width, path mate, linear slash linear coupler, limit both distance and angle, and then we'll move on to the mechanical mates. These consist of cam, slot, hinge, gear, rack pinion, screw, and universal joint. All right, let's look at the advanced mates. The first, profile center, where we can center align rectangular and circular profiles and also make them coincident with one step, symmetric, where we force two entities to be symmetric about a plane or a planar face. Width, where we can have two planar faces to constrain a tab. And then the path mate, where we use points along a sketched path. Linear coupler, a relationship which is translation of one component to another. And then limit, distance or angle, where we have a range of dimensions. Now let's take a look at some of these mates that we've just talked about in action. So we're going to take a look at the advanced mates as far as what they are, kind of what they do, and where are they. First up, if you've not used them before, where do you even find them, right? So in the regular old mate command, to see the standard mates here, normally what you're using, um, but if you just come on down a little bit, we do have the advanced mates. Okay, the first thing we want to look at is, again, profile center. Uh, again, we want to use circular or rectangular things. We're going to use those. Symmetric, about a center. Um, width, we kind of line them up two faces to a tab. Path, we're going to do points onto a sketched line or lines. Uh, linear, we're going to translate one component to another. And then we've got limit mates, um, distance or angle, and we'll have that range of motion there. Okay, so now we've got um, our little sub-assembly here, and we're going to open that guy up. Take a look at some of the profile center mates. Talks a little bit about how they work between rounds and rectangles. You can see here we've got a round pipe to a rectangular plate. Our next profile center mate is two rectangular plates together, and they both work just the same. Just pick your profiles, line them up. We've got a width up above between a bolt and that little post. You can see how that perfectly centers that guy up with no effort. All right, in our main assembly, we're going to take a quick look at the path mate. You got this crate set up here to follow along as it would in normal assembly using a couple of points and just a sketched path. You can see how it moves either way. And when we get back to the other end, you can see not just a straight line, but I've also got an arc and then another line coming on down. It'll follow that. So you've got some really neat motion. You can bring that either way. And there's your path mate. Even though our motion was relatively simple, that path mate could have been a lot different, could have done a loop. Um, basically, most things you can draw in 3D you can do here. So let's take a look at linear coupler here. So we're going to have translation between one object and another. Um, we just set this one up to where one moves twice as fast as the other. We've also set this up so that it does eventually stop, and that's done with a limit mate. Um, so we can control exactly how far that this component comes out. 